What's going on everybody and welcome to part six of our Kiwi tutorial. In this video, we are going to be finishing up our Kiwi chat application and then uh, testing it, making sure it all works. And then in the next video, we'll actually be pack. Well, we'll be going over packaging and we'll all at least go over, you know, how you would do it on Windows and how you can do it on Android. Uh, may or may not cover iOS and other things. We will see. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, basically the crux of all the things that we have to change here are going to be in our chat page. So as soon as I find chat page, here we are. So we need to change the send message bit. Um, and then we also want to add a couple more things even to our init method. So let's go ahead and do that first. So the first thing we're going to do is window. We're going to dot bind. And we're going to say on key down equals self dot uh, on underscore key underscore down. Uh, we will add that method. Um, basically what that's going to be for is so we can bind the enter key to also send a message. Cool. Okay. Um, that way you don't have to like click it. You know, every chat app you hit enter and it sends a message. All right, so once we've done that, uh, now what we want to do is we are going to clock.schedule uh, once. And we are going to schedule self.focus underscore text underscore input. Uh, we'll do that in one second. And then we will uh, socket underscore client dot start underscore listening. And then self dot incoming underscore message and show error should there be an error. Okay. So now let's go ahead and handle for that on key down time. So define on underscore key uh, underscore down. And that will be self instance keyboard key code text and modifiers. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you tab over? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, now you are. Why? <laughs> okay. I'm going to let that slide. I'm going to let that slide, but I'm a little worried. A little, little nervous, not going to lie. If key code is 40, that's your enter key, self.send underscore message. And then we'll pass none there. Uh, because send message is expecting something. Uh, now, now what do we do? So we could, co let's do the send message next. So rather than printing send message, as useful as that once was, we're going to say message equals self dot new underscore message dot text. Uh, that is corresponding to this, right? Our text input. So again, that's just always able to be pulled. And we are just going to grab whatever is in there anytime someone hits the enter key or clicks on that button. So either way, if they hit the enter key, it runs send message, or if they click on that button, it runs send message. So we grab the message, and then uh, immediately let's self.newmessage.message.text. We're just going to set that to be empty, because we want to empty out once they send the message. We don't want that message to remain in that box. That would be annoying. <laughs> uh, so long as there is a message, if message... Uh, we're going to say self.history.updateChat history history. Okay, then we got a long line here. Um, I suppose I'll type it <clears throat> and we'll talk about it. So uh, it's going to be an F string. And then we're going to say the color is equal to DD2020. And so the R username and then other usernames are going to be different colors. So DD2020. And then we're going to say uh, chat app dot connect page dot username. So this is just, and then dot text. Don't forget dot text. Uh, this is just going to be your username, right? So we're just going to grab your username from 
uh, that original login page. Uh, then we're going to close off our color tag, so slash color, <laughs> slash color. And then what we're going to do is um, just do a greater than symbol there. And then whatever the message is. Um, so using F strings, we'll just format that in there. Beautiful. Cool. So once we've done that, we want to send that message out to everybody else. So we see our message, but now we need everybody else to see our message. So we're going to use the socket client and we're just going to say socket client dot send message and it's going to handle all the socket stuff for us. Lovely. Uh, now what we want to do is refocus on that input field. So we're going to say clock clock dot schedule uh, once. Wow. Wow. Uh, self dot focus text input and we'll just do that really quickly after they've hit the enter key hopefully this is not like a super fast user <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we could actually slow people down I'm, I'm a totally uh, well, a person who like sends a message and then hits enter and then continue like rather than make all one big message I make like four lines um, we could really slow people down this way <laughs> anyway but we won't so, all right, once we've done that, um, now we're going to need to focus text input. We'll, we're going to need that to be a method. So define uh, focus text input. And that'll be self and a non-important parameter. Self.new underscore message dot focus is equal to true. So we'll just really do that. And then finally, um, we need to get any new messages. So we're gonna say define uh, incoming message, self, the username, and the message. So self.history.updatechathistory uh, with an F string. And again, we're gonna say color, and this time we're gonna give it a 20DD20. And then it will be whatever that username was, and then slash color, and then like before, the message. Cool. So we will save that, and I'm tempted to run that. I'm sure we are forgetting something. <laughs> let's just go ahead and run it and see what happens. So let's see if we have any errors, first of all. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect locally because we're running locally. Hello. Okay, so we're definitely... Oh, wait, you know what? I probably ran the old one. Yeah, I did. Okay, Kiwi app 6. Cool, connect. Great. Hello. Okay, finally. Um... Oh, do we... Here's what I probably didn't do. Um, we gave scrollable label, and I bet on the chat page I, ne I didn't change label. Yeah, so we need to change the self history. That needs to be a scrollable label. So the error I got, just to be clear, um, it just it just said label has no attrib attribute update chat history. So that kind of signals to me, hmm, I know what has that. That's the scrollable label, and obviously it's not a label object. It's a scrollable label. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just rerun that again. See what happens. Hello. Up, oh, still crashes. And label object has no attribute update chat history. Well, that's kind of. Oh, I didn't save. Okay. <laughs> let's try again. Hello. <laughs> okay, it works. <laughs> Okay, now we need to test to see if it updates for other um, other people correctly. So let's check that really quick. Let me run Kiwi App 6 over again. And this time I'm going to connect to my actual server. Uh, 231, 239. The other thing you could do is just run 2 locally. Um, but I'm going to do it this way. Hello. And then, all right, great, cool. Okay, so that 
that works. We get text from both, uh, you know, us and the other people. Hopefully, I don't have any other errors here. Um, that's a lot of code that we just kind of ran through really quickly. Uh, but yeah, cool. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, work on... Oh, well, I'm going to have to fix that first of all, but we'll, we'll save that for the next video. <laughs> uh, yeah, we lose some of this uh, of the interactivity because of our fancy thing. Cool. Um, yeah, the inner... Yeah, okay. Fascinating. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix that, but we'll fix that in the next video, as well as uh, talk about deployment. Um, or maybe I will, yeah, I think we'll fix this. Let's just fix this real quick. I've got that in my notes for this video. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, <clears throat> that way the next video can be purely deployment. So, uh, update chat history layout. Da, da, da. So I would go, let's see, let me just think about how I want to do this. I think I'm just going to copy and paste these things in to fix this. Cause the issue is that we've like made this, like, I'm pretty sure it's this custom scrollable, uh, label. Update chat history. So let me copy this. And I'm going to add this here. And this is all in the text-based version of the tutorial. And uh, if you just scroll down to the bottom, these are the fixes. So basically what we're trying to do is like when we send the message, it resized because of what we called here. So we're just gonna go ahead and call this to occur all the time. Um, and then the other thing I wanna do, uh, let me grab this bit of code and we're gonna go to the chat page, init method, and I think I'll just throw it here adjust fields and then I'm going to add this to our uh, chat page here see if we can fix it <laughs> yeah let me just rerun that really quick uh, and make sure that works because this was kind of a funky a funky issue that we were having because you normally like you shouldn't have to deal with that kind of stuff Let me just confirm. Yeah. Okay. So now, because the big thing, the big thing was like depending, like wherever the app started, it usually worked out really well with the layout. But the problem is with phones, you're you want to be able to rotate the phone, so you need this chat app to constantly change. One of the interesting things that we found uh, doing this was um, that in adjust fields, if you just called this to run that update, um, update the layout, that would not work. We in, instead we had to just schedule it once a period, it, oops, schedule it once 0 0.01 seconds out. So you couldn't schedule it immediately or you couldn't just call it. You had to schedule it to run soon. <laughs> uh, not really sure why, like there's probably some back end thing that's happening there. Uh, like maybe things get drawn and then some logic is done and then it's shown and then that's what happens. So in, so this way we got it to draw later. I really don't know. It's kind of funky. Uh, but anyways, all we're doing basically is just uh, resizing things. So when the window gets resized, we resize things. Uh, which again, we wouldn't really want to do. And I'm not really sure if there's a way around that. So anyway, I'm just, I'm not going to go too deeply into that because the only reason we have to do that, uh, I believe is purely because of the scrollable label, uh, that we created. I'm pretty sure the other, all of the other Kiwi widgets, uh, you would never have to actually do that. <laughs> but if you want to make your own, I guess you got to start thinking about how to make them, uh, also be resizable. Okay. So now I freed us up so the next video I can talk purely about deployment. But if you have any questions specifically on exactly what we did or if this code doesn't make any sense to you for whatever reason, it's pretty basic Python, but um, feel free to ask. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's it. 
questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be deploying things. Um, and actually, you can even see I've got it on my on my phone as we speak. Look at that chat app. Incredible. <laughs> it's super fun deploying to Android. Okay, see you guys there.